Oh man. Dude, I haven't played SK in like three or four days. And it's um it shows I can't even do commentary. Right, anybody? Any <laughs> this is what I mean. I haven't even had enough coffee yet today. Uh, welcome back to Spirit Please More Spiral Nights. Um before we begin, if you could please click, click the like button down at the bottom right hand corner, subscribe to see more in the future, leave a comment, does help me out a lot. I appreciate everything you guys do. Anyway, we're we're still heating our stuff. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me back up a second. I gotta show you this thing. Uh, we're having, I think it's um, Inus. There we go. Just to make sure, we're having Inus. It's not Marshmallow. Do this. Um, do this commission for our guild. And it's in the sketch mode, so don't be too judgmental. I just thought this was, like, the coolest thing. Like, look at that. I'm the dude in the middle. Right by the fire on the left, and Mike's my shoulder. I got my happy eyes. Oh, let's go down. We're, we're on the elevator. There's somebody flying with a rainbow, strangling a teddy at the top. There's a whole bunch of great stuff going on in this picture. It's in sketch mode. It's going to get a lot better. I'm going to keep you updated if I, if I remember to. I just wanted to show that off. A-I-N-O-S is the guy's name doing commissions. He's working on it for us. I just thought that was really cool. We have a guild picture right there. You might not be familiar with everybody, but that's okay. We turn that off. There we go. All right. So anyway, what we're, we're doing down here is just a big question I, I i'm in my chaos gear for lack of better term i want to go in the arcade because doing vano over and over again is a pain in the butt we're a little naked right now because i also don't can't afford trinkets i'm still trying to save up for the five star recipe it's a life of a poor man we're gonna use our um, our four star item though to see if we can do a decent amount of damage we got a polaris buster in here oh boy please dude the this we got a full party it is time. Why am I not shooting to the right and using my own advice? Anyway, there we go. There's one. So we're going to be doing a lot of this. I probably should have brought uh, this the, the brandish sword, but it's okay. I, I We need to heat this gun straight up. And we have, we have a... Why did I bring swift strike? I don't know. We have... Can I say, he has a turtle shield. Hold on. Stone tortoise. That was the first item I had ever gotten back in the day. Oh, what have you done? The first item I had ever gotten back in the day where uh, we can thread the needle. Oh my goodness. Where uh, it, it was a natural drop. It was a four star tortoise shield. So that I guess what my first shield was a tortoise shield. It does no like it doesn't do any like amazing benefits or anything. What you're also watching is a. Uh, they just go the other way and get like rocked. So what happened there? Um, the first way I learned, oh no, I learned how to fight was a or saw a gunner that was doing damage. This is how he fought. He would just walk around with a charge, like, like always screaming. I guess I don't know, like a uh, like Michael. Oh, we're going to the danger room, boys. That's like one level of heat. But these guys are looking good. We got a guy with a slime sword. Excellent costumes. People that have been rocking out. Uh, paying homage to the game. We have a person in starlight gear To get starlight gear. He's not marshmallow though. We know that Now it's always dangerous on depth 19 to rock in oh my nose <laughs> to rock out a uh, Danger room it's dangerous to rock in a danger room Come on boys. Let's go Especially this one because we know it's gonna be sprites <laughs> Hopefully it's gonna be those that are uh, weak against shadow and my connection won't, won't uh, destroy me We got this. There's two polarises. What could possibly go wrong? Oh my goodness. And it's it's ta it's a uh, max Megan can you get off reddit? <laughs> oh my gosh, what is going on? <laughs> Come on, man It's three in the morning. This kind of stuff should not happen that guy legit has a boomstick. All right, let's see if we can get this. We can use this weapon. This weapon is a little bit more potent. There we go. We just got to be conscious of what's going on. This should not be that big of a deal. Should not be. We got a winter grape. We have a ace in the hole, basically. We killed one monster. So anyway, plans for the future. You've seen them. That's it. <laughs> We're gonna make this Nova Driver. That's our our grand plan for the future. Oh, yeah, we do. They are weak against Shadow. 
These are the kind of minis I love. Oh, jeez. I thought we'd have enough. Oop, I oh, got him. Blah, blah. Is that... Did I just see, like, a... Uh... Oh, I know what it was. It was, like, a graphical... Not glitch, but certainly a issue. Can we get out of here through one of these? Okay, sure. Um, I think the guy's mind expanded a little bit. The... the, the I, I thought it was, like, an aura. A new aura that uh, explained um, a sprite like Halo, but that was obviously incorrect. Oh my goodness. Another wave? Yes. Blah, we lost we lost one already. That's okay. Boom. Beautiful. The Polaris cannot save you from the minis usually, but sometimes it can. If you have no enough pushback, thank you for rerouting your trajectory, little slime dudes. Appreciate it. I don't know how that didn't hit you. We question things on a case-by-case -case basis. The mysteries of Java have not yet been unlocked by mankind. Why God push that into me, man? Why people gotta be bitter about, uh... Oh, about, about people using Polaris. I'm not bitter. Not bitter. We, we have the two Polaris guys left, which is actually quite hilarious. I'll get you, buddy. I'll get you. Can you stop pushing them away? Oh no. Okay, we've done it. So all this is gonna do, I'm hoping, is give us one level of heat. Is it worth three energy? Uh, yeah, maybe. It was a little messy. We were, I'm lucky they, uh, the, the players, honestly, from their end, kited a lot of the uh, monster attention to them and not myself. Eternal Legacy. We gotta be getting up there on the tokens. But yeah, man. This, uh... So, um, what, what is there to talk about? There's the Corona. There's always the Corona going on. Um, Zoom meetings. I know, like, everybody uses Zoom these days. You're only a Defender Elite? Hey, look where you are. Rolling with the big dogs. I could go just down here, because I know there's we're not gonna find a whole lot up here, but there's always a chance for a spark drop. So I gotta give it a shot. Oop, that is not the right one. We want, we want the 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 old WG, Winter Gravio. Beautiful. This this guy does not care that his all of his friends were just slaughtered. <laughs> There's something going on down there, boys. You're a bad manager. Who put you in charge of these children? Speaking of children, dude, I've had a a, a great time. Um, with the family, obviously. If you haven't realized by now, I really like my kids. <laughs> I really like my wife, and I really like what uh, God's given me here. Um, you can you can dispute the source, but either way, I'm very, like a sense of thankfulness is something you. Uh, it's it's hard to come by. Like when you when you when you live life, when you wake up in the morning, what do you do? You say, "Thank goodness I breathed all by myself." Or do you say, "Thank goodness someone put air in my lungs"? Like you don't want to cause yourself to breathe all night consciously. It's, that, that stuff's put into you. I guess you could, in a sense, thank the the great cosmic, uh, oops, evolutionary bug in the sky that uh, through a purposeless life somehow put purpose into your lungs to keep you breathing for reasons only it will understand. But that's kind of weird because that came from nothing. That's just my opinion. Uh, so I got to go outside and like when you're really tiny, you're itty bitty, like my three year old. She just wants someone there with her. So we, sorry. We hang out with her. I, I just went outside and literally I was doing my workout. She just wanted to be there. And I would just lay on the ground um, after a while. Because something about having bare feet outside, it just feels really good. I just did a little dipsy doodle and had my friend get hit. But that's okay. They're fighting with they're fighting with fire, the Polaris gun. I'm not going to say it. I'd like a... Dude, why would you push him into me? <laughs> well, why would I trick enemies to hit you? I didn't do it on purpose. Boom. But, uh, you know, it's, it's not the be-all and all gun. I remember going to my first couple shadow layers with a gun like that. And just getting absolutely trounced. And uh, well-deserved. You can use more tactful weapons. That doesn't have to be the be-all and all. Let's see how we did. Ooh. 
very close. Perimeter promenade. But dude, we're, we're playing my favorite level set. The green level set. That's where I got my... I think I still got it up here. That's where I got my overlay, right? Beautiful. Silverhawk did that for me back in the day. Like, maybe half a year ago. No, I don't even think it was that long ago. How long have I been doing this channel? Anyway, I've had so many uh, launches and revamps. Chrono's definitely helped out with the, the channel populace. As far as, like, I've gotten a few more subs. This is still all done out of, like, I just like the game. I just like, I just like life. <laughs> but I've been playing these games for a while. I've always been a gamer at heart. So, you know, why not share the experience? Especially as I'm growing older. You can show, uh, every, everybody has their own, like, certain love of fantasy and art. Everybody has a creative outlet, right? You should. Even if it's just singing along to music. You're, but that... That's good to a point. You got to make sure you're examining what you're listening to. I'm coming, buddy. Because if you're not examining what you're listening to, sometimes you can be charmed into thinking that something that sounds good is good. And it might be. The lyrics might charm you. But if they charm you and you're listening to a song about, I don't know, suicide, you, gotta, you really got to question, you know, what exactly... If, what, what is what is the goal of listening to the song? Are you bettering yourself? Because the, the the lyrics do seep into you one way or another. Culture does the same thing. We were having a um, one thing I've done because in, in my philosophy the the church has to gather. People have to gather and share, share social values, but we're being forced into isolation. So we uh, I had, I'm, I'm asking people that are kind of like you know missing community. You guys want to get together and talk? So we just talk about culture. Like yesterday we were talking about. Um, going by one of the books we're reading uh, at the C.S. Lewis Institute, um, what cultural assumptions are, or what, what things in culture are assumed true? You know, like, uh, there are certain things that you can hear, that was a horrible shot, bounce off the media. Like, what do you, what do you think's true? What do you think, uh, that could be contested? Because one of the, the fallacies of the church is not contesting not standing up for things that are supposed to be right or true or good I see your Polaris and I raise myself a boomstick go ahead buddy blah, blah. probably just could use a winter grave but I can use practice on my um Polaris uh, players my my uh Alchemer charge on Everybody could use help. Practice and experience, man. Obviously, dude. Oh, no, I missed it. <laughs> so, I don't know. And this is different culture to culture, right? Some some cultural norms are, are considered, well, normal. And you, and you just assume them. You don't even try to, like, negotiate them. You don't try to, you know, prove they're false. Help. Help. <laughs> I don't want to let go of my precious charge. It's vital that I keep this. I have no idea what's coming. No idea what's coming on the horizon except for I've played this level 3,000 times. Ba -ba. Look, it's like a Grand Faust I can shoot. So I know one of the uh, the hyped cultural norms, at least in our society, is the, uh, the whole my body, my choice kind of thing, especially during this pandemic. It's, a, it's one of those things, if you're not conforming to the governmental standard of wearing a mask, you are endangering everybody's life. It is your fault, and I must um, immediate, immediately, instead of having a conversation as to why you think your mask is wrong, have, help have a uh, conversation with you about how dumb you are. <laughs> like, like that, that seems to be a very prevalent, dividing, d divisive issue in our time. Um, I, I, I purposely, so here, my thoughts on, on wearing a mask, because our, our state does require it. I'm going to exercise a little bit of civil, civil disobedience. Not too much, because I mean, it's not too necessary. But, uh, like, there's places that say you can't come in here unless you have a face mask. I'm not going to fight that. If that's their policy and I want their product, I will listen to them. That's the, the essence of capitalism, right? If someone wants to offer you a service that you're not getting somewhere, um... They go somewhere else you might have it no time in our history 
Has anybody, has a government ever been allowed to shut down anything? You really gotta question this kind of stuff. It's, it's really weird. So that's my, I'll, I'll exercise civil disobedience. I will wear one because my boss asked me to. Because I have loyalty to my boss. Loyalty and fealty is something that's not really praised, not really sought after, not really, you know, expressed a lot. So, I'm, I mean, that's one thing I have. I bet it blows my boss's mind away. Like, I really like it when you're here. Like, he's having some issues outside of work and he couldn't make it yesterday. So, I'm like, I'm missing you, brother. This is stuff like, what, who else is going to tell your boss they're missed besides his family? Like, the, the level of appreciation you, a superior has, they get very, they do stuff because it's their job. And this is one of the reasons why if you have a job that deals with people, you certainly... Like you, the pay rate starts going up, but even if it's like 50 cents an hour, it at least is something. When you start dealing with people, though, that's that's really when because people are complicated. Every person is an individual. So besides the 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 job function, I'm not gonna forget you, buddy. Why would I ever forget you, Prisma? You gotta. Besides that, you have to uh, deal with individual people on top of your your job task and. Um, I think that's pretty apparent. I might be wrong. Maybe it's not apparent. They have no idea what I'm talking about. But to me, it's apparent. I try to tell my guys once in a while that I love them, and I really do. I do a lot of things for their benefit, not my own. And this is a legit claim. And it's hard to have this being, being authentic because people don't see it. I tell my guys, yo, I'm here to make you better. That is my sole job. Money is just a secondary. They pay me to do this. They asked me to do this job. I was asked. This, this is my philosophy since I read Benjamin Franklin's autobiography. He was asked to do his function. And he would not relinquish his function no matter how many people would slander him because of just that. Somebody asked me to do this job. I'm going to do it to the best of my ability. And no, I'm not going to roll over just because you're being political about this whole thing. And let you rule in my stead. And that's how he, he had maintained the position of a clerk for so long. And he's a very interesting life, um, Ben Franklin. I recommend reading it, but I recommend reading a whole lot of books that probably no one has time for, not even myself. The only reason I get books done is because of lack of sleep. Oh, no. That was the first spot to be in. Um, I, but it's maximizing times, so not just lack of sleep. The uh, so a friend of mine actually has corona. He was telling me the symptoms. He's like, the biggest part I got is like, I don't know, we need to we get that. The, the, big, the biggest issue is the lack of sleep and the constant coughing. I'm like, dude, I get it. I've had bronchitis like 20, 30 times. It's the same exact thing. You'll get over it. So you'll be surprised how resilient your body is to this kind of stuff. He's like, yeah, I've been getting better. I'm like, did they give you anything? He said they gave me a steroid inhaler for, with, for my cough. That's it because they don't know how to treat it. I'm like, well, okay, interesting. Now, my, my personal philosophy is I think I got this already, the corona. Just like I got this key. And I thought I gave it to somebody else because they had the exact same symptoms as back in February. I probably mentioned this before, I'm sorry, but it's still relative, rel relevant political topic. It's, it's, it's stupidly political, unfortunately. I really wish it wasn't. So, um, they gave me uh, steroids and antibiotics and I got better like uh, a week later because I'm not, it wasn't even a week later, it was like two days later. So, I mean, I, they treated it, at, treated it as bronchitis. Because that's sort of what it was. But not really. Because I'm like, hey, it's, it's really weird that I'm getting, like, I have this cough. Because I've had bronchitis so many times. Usually I cough up brown or yellow stuff. And it's disgusting. But usually stuff comes up. Nothing's coming up. And, and the past week I've had a sore throat that I can't really, like, shake. It's very frustrating. And I can't talk without pain. And they're like, ah, uh, well... I think you just have bronchitis. Here you go. Because, I mean, doctors look for trends. They're busy people. I'm like, all right, sure. I'll give it a shot. I know steroids are bad for you long term. But it is what it is. Everyone's life is unique. We all have our own struggles. Everyone, If, if you haven't realized, you know, we're all 100% terminal. I know I've said this before. If you're holding on to your life and thinking we got to do things to survival, well, I mean, if you don't get to keep it, where, where's, where's your ultimate goal here? We think in our lifespan, we are but a book, right? Open and close, cover to cover. The covers are important. They're the thickest. They're the ones with the most meat on the bone. The guy just keeps looking at his phone, man. Come on. All right, let's go, boys. Hopefully another danger room. 
Didn't even see what enemies were here. Oh, so good. <laughs> it's a slime based theme. I mean, it's a Polaris based theme. I'm just going to stick with that. I wonder if I can flinch him. Can we not go in there? Oh, okay, good. Not good enough. There's good, and then there's good enough. Thank you. This guy's my hero. Uh, down? Sure. Probably should have gone left. My instinct tells me left is the way to go. But anyway, this is like, it's very rare when I turn Trump down in the arcade. And I'm like, we need heat. We need heat, boys. Wah -wah. Who? There's two of them. Oh, you get the rocket puppy in mind? I'll get him. Look, he's got to go. It's fire one. He's, he's a little inconsequential. Never, I haven't had a Polaris party in a while. Usually it's just one stray. Sure, the gun's good, man, but like, I don't know. There's something a little mundane about it. Oh, yeah, we're going the other way for sure. Sorry, man. I, my instincts were correct. We should have gone that way. Oh, fine, fine, fine. We're, we're, we're so close. I'm coming. I'm coming. We're, have we changed our minds? We as a, as a vast crew. This little army. I, if I join the could join the Polaris party, I might. But I probably wouldn't. I'll lead the way. We'll pretend this is like an Olympic event. Where's your, where's your potion? Let's go. We've poisoned the mechs. They thought it couldn't be done. We've hacked into them. Look at us, though. What are we doing? We're just charging with this giant uh, shadow death ray. So, I mean, it's not like, besides the Polaris. But the I, the argument against the Polaris is, I, th I think, can be almost not said anymore to the people. <laughs> if you're watching this, we're just very fortunate now. Like, um... It's the last video. Well, it's been a couple days. But like the we were talking, I think the, the, the Java itself might have had an upgrade. Maybe my computer just got better. But like the you think with these two guys using Polaris constantly, we'd have some extreme lag issues, but it turns out we don't. So I'm gonna count on him shooting them away from me to, <laughs> away from my blast radius. Trying to compensate for that. Oh jeez. Well, you guys can enjoy your crystals. Not really necessary for this night. Mike's ascended above all footage. Please excuse him. He leaves messes. Enjoy your attack bonus. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Looking at other things. Don't go that way. It's not the right way. We're the Tasmanian devil. You guys ever... Does anybody remember Taz? From Looney, Looney Tunes, Saturday morning cartoons? That's like dead. There's no one... What is Saturday morning cartoons? It's just... It's a theory. It's not something that happens in reality anymore. Come here, coffee. I need you. Sorry, I like that picture. <laughs> Probably should put it up for more than like two seconds. Otherwise, you get like a... A strobe effect, I guess. Why not? Blue's a good color. I like how the uh, Windsor Grave transcends all human understanding. Why does it do so much? Why does it hit 300 times? You would think that'd be. Ow. Oh my gosh, that was horrible. You would think that'd be something that would be addressed. Who knows what they have on their screen? I do miss the uh, the option to drop your pills, though. All right, we made it halfway. Um, we're not really looking for anything here. Unfortunately, we do have to save our money. We're, we're trying to get 25k. I'm trying to say, sell a few materials here. And also, I, I do forget who gave me the prismatic tail. Um, I'll, I'll show it here for a minute. Um, if, if you did give it to me, please let me know. Um, I was thinking about selling it just for the just for the good spirit cause. 
there's a there's a lo better loading screen for you just for good spirit cause i i can sustain myself for a little bit longer we can uh i can get myself some trinkets which increase my survivability i don't know what you're looking for man i mean it would help me with uh you know obtaining elite orbs but i don't want to do that without asking we have a helmet. oh we do now do i want to spend 90 on this absolutely not because we're Might as well help out over here. I want to see. Yeah, I think it's like 470. <sighs> 470 radiance or something like that, that. That you need to get a five star item. Zero to hero. Zero to level 10. Which is what we're looking for for Prisma. It's Winter Bay. will help out anyway i think i'll do it for this one once again thanks for watching if you guys enjoyed it click the like button subscribe if you want to see more in the, fu in the future next time a oh, promise member he's a defender i haven't seen promise in ages i'll see you next time take care